GOG is running a post-apocalyptic sale right now until the 1st of May. So here are top 10 games, in my opinion, that you should check out. Now, with the success of the Amazon Fallout TV show, uh, a lot of new people are playing the Fallout games. A lot of people have become interested in the Fallout games. And so I think if you are somebody who has never played the Fallout games, Fallout 4 might be the best one to get into. This is the latest single player game from uh, the Fallout series. And it is also graphically a bit better than the older ones. It's also a lot easier to get into, more casual friendly, let's say. So this one here, is on sale at its usual regular price of 75%. This is the game of the year edition, which includes all the extra content and DLCs. There are a few extra items there. There was like a workshop with a lot of things to build your settlements. There were a few DLCs. There was a Far Harbor expansion where you go on to a different uh, island, basically. There's a Nuka world as well. So all of that is included in this bundle. Of course, being on GOG, this is DRF free. You don't need a launcher. You can just download the files, download it and play it and you don't need to be connected online either. So $10 for this, 75% off. Next we have Stalker. I've picked Call of Pripyat here. This is another popular post-apocalyptic series set in the Chernobyl exclusion zone. There are three games in the series. This, uh, this one is the last one, the third one. There's a second series coming out as a second game, let's say. I don't know when it's coming out, maybe later this year. But you can get back and check these out. Very affordable these days and very intense, very brutal from the late 2000s. So graphically may not seem that great, but it's still pretty good. So this one here, Call of uh, Pripyat is from 2010. The first one was I think 20, uh, 2007, then second one was 2008. So yeah, around that time. So this one is 75% off, $499 only. Now I would recommend you pick the first one if you haven't played the series. Uh, I've just picked this one because just randomly I pick different ones every time I mention these. Next, if you want a little more classical, let's say Fallout game, then a lot of people would recommend Fallout New Vegas. This is a, from 2008, I believe. So they had Fallout 3 and then they followed it up with this one. And a lot of people consider this to be the best one. Um, this was made by Obsidian, who also make a lot of other interesting RPGs. And so maybe that's why people like it. This is also frequently on sale, 67% off of this one, uh, $659. And this is the ultimate version. Next we have Atom RPG. So uh, this is a more of a recent game. And I've selected this one because it's got the same Fallout post-nuclear theme and it's made in the classical style. So the first two Fallout games or the Wasteland games that were in like the top-down isometric view, this follows that. So it's more of a CRPG in that sense. And this is considered a indie game. So this one is 60% off, $5.99, has good reviews, decent length campaign. And yeah, it looks decent as well. Like if they made a Fallout game today in this style, it would probably look like this. Next, we have Chernobyl Light Enhanced Edition. So this is another game that I've seen a bit recently. Haven't looked much into it, but it's another game set in the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone. I believe they have used like 3D scans, realistic 3D scans of the wasteland to create uh, the game. And has a bit of uh, base building elements, crafting. There's a story mystery involved there as well. And yeah, uh, it seems like a decent game. This is 60% off, $11.99. And this is from 2021, so much recent compared to the other games. Next, we have Tunguska The Visitation. So I believe this is made by one person, and you play as a ghoul hunter, and he's trying to uncover the secrets of Tunguska from the Soviet era. I'm not sure what that is, but seems interesting. So um, you are going across desolate villages, abandoned facilities, toxic swamps, and things like that so it's got rpg elements minor survival elements it's a shooter basically but in the top down isometric perspective it also says that it's heavily inspired by stalker series and roadside picnic i don't know what roadside picnic is i mean to look it up but yeah game looks uh, interesting it's got plenty of content a lot of lore and story here uh, according to how long to beat it says it'll take 56 hours to finish this game so that seems quite a lot so anyway, nice little indie game and 55% off of this one, $6.74.
Next we have Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden. So another game where after the nuclear explosions and everything, people mutated and there's more of a animal human hybrid happening in this world. Um, this game looks very good. I like the setting, the dialogue and the characters seem very interesting as well. The only reason I haven't played more of this is because it's uh, in the XCOM style, which isn't a bad thing as such, but um, I would prefer it if this was in like a much more of a standard RPG style. But anyway, it's still a pretty good game. This has been given away by Epic uh, a while ago, so some of you may have it. But if not, this is on a decent sale here, 60% off, $13.99. Now, if you know me, you knew that I would be putting in Mad Max at some point, And here it is on sale at its regular 80% discount, $3.99. Uh, this, I would feel, is like the most gamey game in this list. So it's a fun game set in a wasteland, a limited resources and things like that. But it's much more straightforward, more of an action open world game. And I enjoy that. So if you want a little less intensity compared to the other games, uh, you may enjoy this one. So this is again 80% off $3.99. Now apart from the nuclear post-apocalyptic flavor, we also have the regular zombie flavor of post-apocalypse. And I have a couple of well-known games on sale. So first up, we have Days Gone, uh, open world game by PlayStation basically, came to PC a few years ago, ported well, runs well, uh, critically well received now at least, anybody who's played the game has been very uh, happy with this. And this is on its regular sale of 75% off, $12.49. And then finally, we have Dying Light Definitive Edition. So this is the first Dying Light game Still a lot of fun, a big open world, very congested city, in fact, I should say the first half of the game. And a lot of parkouring, first person parkouring, crafting of weapons a little bit. It's not an RPG, it's more of an open world action game, but it's a lot of fun, especially with what you can do in the open world. This definitive edition also has everything included, all the DLC, all the content, skins and cars and weapons and whatever. Everything in one bundle, 80% off, $10. So 